Hi there. Today we're going to talk about how to believe in yourself when nobody else does. So how do you believe in yourself when no one else does? You know, everything that we do on this channel is about helping you to become more aware of who you are and why you do the things that you do, and then to empower you with the knowledge and tools to understand the principles or laws that govern this world in which we live, and then to be able to make the changes to live the life that you want to live, to achieve the success and the happiness and create the relationships that you want to have in your life. So what does that mean when we say, how do you believe in yourself when no one else does? Well, the first thing that we need to do is question our questions or be aware of the questions that we ask because the quality of our life is determined by the questions that we ask. So I would ask this question first of all, and that is, how do you know that no one else believes in you? Is that belief, is that statement true? And think about this, can you ever know for sure that that statement is true? Because even if you were to ask everybody in the entire world if they believed in you or not, and every one of those people in the whole entire world said that they did not believe in you, would that mean that that is true? Or could it be possible that some of those people that said they don't believe in you really do believe in you? And could it also be that there may be people that say they do believe in you when in fact they don't? The truth of this question is, does it really matter whether other people believe in you or not? Ultimately, it comes down to what do we believe about ourselves? Think about this in your life. Have you ever had a situation where somebody did believe in you? and they believe that you are capable of doing something, but you didn't believe it. Did it really matter to you whether the other person believed it or not? Or did you go more off of your own internal belief? And that's usually the way that it is. We are going to behave in accordance with what our own internal beliefs are rather than what other people think. But when we're not really aware, we're not really paying attention to what's going on, we allow those kind of superficial thoughts to impact us. So somebody says something to us and it causes us to feel like they don't believe in us. That belief then goes into our subconscious. Our subconscious accepts it and begins to look for evidence that that statement or that belief is true. And so what we want to do is work really hard on just becoming more aware, more aware of what our thoughts are, more aware of the meaning that we attach to the events and to the words of people around us. So let's take a few examples, though, of individuals, you know, throughout history who have accomplished some amazing things when others did not believe in them. You know, we could start with Christopher Columbus. You know, when he believed that the, the, the world was round and that he could sail across the ocean and find a new land, there were a lot of people that did not believe in him. And he had to believe strongly enough in himself that his believing created the seeing. You know, oftentimes in life we say that seeing is believing, it's really the opposite that is true. We first need to believe, and once we believe, then we create. And so in life, we have to have the belief first of what we want to accomplish, of who we want to be, and then we need to take that action to step forward and make that belief come true. So Christopher Columbus was a good example of somebody who went forward with the things that he believed in himself regardless of what other people believed and accomplished some pretty amazing things. Roger Bannister is another individual who 
accomplish something that many thought was impossible. So he was the first man to run the four minute mile. And up until that point, many believed that it was physically impossible for a human being to run a mile in under four minutes. Nobody had done it. It hadn't been seen. Many people believed that it was impossible. But because of the internal belief that Roger Bannister had, then he put forth the work and the effort and accomplished the impossible, which then became possible. The cool thing about the story with Roger Bannister is nobody had ever run a mile in under four minutes until he did it. And then within two weeks, a second person did it. And then I think it was within the next couple of months, there were three or four other individuals who broke it. So oftentimes, those limiting beliefs that we have about ourselves, it's not just limiting ourselves, but it limit, limits everybody else as well. And once we break through those beliefs, man, we open up the door for other people to accomplish what we have accomplished and to go on and accomplish even greater things. So one other person that accomplished some things that other people didn't believe in was Thomas Edison. You know, he invented a lot of things in his life, but if we talk about the light bulb for a moment, that was something that he believed in and believed strongly enough that he was willing to try time after time after time after time up to a thousand or 10,000, I don't know for sure how many times, but many, many times of trying to achieve his dream or his goal, not seeing that happen, and yet continuing and learning from the experiments that he had tried, and then going on and trying something new, something different. So Napoleon Hill says, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve, that's true for each one of us. Forget what anybody else thinks about us. Focus more on what you think and on what you believe and on what you want to accomplish in your life. Believe it and then go ahead and go out and create it and create the life of your dreams, the life that you want that will bring you the happiness, that will bring you the success, that will bring you the relationships that you want in your own life because anything that you can conceive of, you can achieve. Thanks for joining us again today. Hopefully you found this information useful. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel below. And if you'd like to know more about what we're doing, visit our website. You'll find it listed below as well.